Hello you all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria J and today we're going to do something a little different. Um, It seems as though that I'm making a homemade video and you know what? <laughs> I, it is because I'm at home and so that makes it homemade. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and present um something that I have been wanting to do for the past at least two years and because of the pandemic and everything it's just kind of changed my mindset to a lot of things that has been going on and then as being a single mom being a single parent you know sometimes we have to take different um precautions when it comes to you know expenses and when it comes to just the life period okay so you know i have my son he's four and you know although he does get somewhat of a support um you know i have that set aside but um you know when it comes to other things i just want to always make sure that i'm on top of everything because you just never know with life okay thank god thankfully that i was not furloughed um as an employee at my current employer and um i i was just so thankful because i could have easily been in that number okay so that just kind of made me change some things when it came to spending and saving, okay? And, you know, being that there's a lot of things that are still not necessarily in stock, um, there's a lot of things that have not, um, you know, uh, things aren't, aren't as normal as, you you know, you thought they are. You know, you just go out and go get certain things and come back, you know, you good. But it doesn't always happen that way, okay? So I just always wanted to have um something you know saved up for a rainy day god forbid if something were to happen okay the earth just ended okay <laughs> so with that being said i wanted to present something that i have not done but yet i feel like it's feasible to do and i know that this is a terrible angle here but let me see if like i said this is gonna be homemade okay uh if we're able to do this so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get started i just wanted to, this to be short and sweet and something that i think that i'm going to be doing um since i'm presenting it i feel like i'm going to you know keep up with it if i present it because it's going to kind of make me do it and so this is something that i wanted to do um this is the five thousand dollar saving challenge and this is for the uh 52 weeks do um uh, not mine, sorry, <laughs> for how it is colored. I didn't have any colored ink at, at work. Um, we don't have colored ink. So <laughs> I just was able to print this out. And you can always go back in and, you know, make it more decorative and things like that. But th this is the base of it, okay? You get the gist. So this is the $5,000 saving challenge. And this is all the way through 52 weeks here, as you see. Boop, boop, boop. And what I have done is went ahead and pretty much put all the weeks together that equal a month, okay? So I have like this four here that makes a month, okay? So if I were to take, because I get paid bi weekly, okay, every two weeks, and uh, the first week and the second week, if I were to add that up, that makes $75 right here, okay? So with that being said, um, I added all four weeks that makes one month. And I put it here in this little box, okay? So that makes $150. So what I took into account is I went ahead and put like 5 through 8, 9 through 12, 13 through 16, and so on and so forth. Until I got to the other side. It got a little crazy because of how <laughs> the 25, 26, 27, and 28, how it came out on here i had to kind of do a little thing but it actually came out to be 730 dollars for those four weeks okay and that'll hit around the summertime so i kept going it's a 700 510 360 290 210 and 130 right here so what i went ahead and did is i broke it up so for example january 2022 we get paid twice a month but there's four weeks in that month roughly and so when I get paid the first time I think it'll be like on the 14th I have my planner over here I'm not gonna let y'all see my planner because it is a mess and <laughs> my handwriting is not up to par okay um but I get paid twice a month 
So the first week, I mean, excuse me, the first pay week, I'm going to put $75 in a bank. And then when I get paid before the month ends, I'm going to put the other 75 in there. Okay, so really quickly, y'all, I did this wrong. Um, so technically, the first two weeks, they do add up to be $55. The second week, excuse me, the second for the three and the four, it adds up to $95. When you add those two numbers up for that month, it totals out to be $150. But what I did was I divided $150 by two and i got i got 75 a piece right and so the numbers that are in the green i just took that and i divided it by two because that's how much in the green that you're supposed to deposit for that particular month so it's not that i didn't know my math <laughs> but in my head i forgot to actually portray that through the video is that i take that number that's in the green divided by two because i get paid bi-weekly so i hope that that makes sense for the remaining of this video I have 150 dollars. you see that for example the next one will be february so i get paid twice a month okay and so for the first week that i get paid or the first excuse me check that i get in february that'll be 55 dollars plus 60 dollars and that adds up to 125 okay so i'm going to make sure that the first check i get in february i'll put 125 dollars aside and then when i get paid the second time in january i'll put the other 125 aside and that'll give me a total of $400 already. So you see how quickly you can add that up just by saving if I did it bi-weekly like that. Now again, this is my personal goal that I want to enter into 2022 with. Things may happen to where I can't, you know, fully come up to the 5,000, but I could try, right? So they even have other ones out there that are less than that. They have some that are three month goals that you can make $2,000. Uh, they have um, $500, which here, if you think about it, I mean, honestly, two in, within three months, You'll have seven hundred and ten dollars if you follow this for if you follow this particular format. But again, there are a lot other challenges out there. Um, I got this one via, I would say Pinterest, but no, it's blocked at work, so it wasn't Pinterest. Um, <laughs> uh, I actually got this just by doing a, a Google search, and this particular website came up. I think it was in the form of a blog. And so it was clark.com and this is what I was able to print out, okay? Cause I said, I need to do something. They have a $10,000 one as well, but I'm like, wait a minute, let's slow your roll. Let's see if we can do five first before we just, you know, go on and jump in that, that deep pool like that. So anyway, uh, I hope this makes sense, but if you keep going so on and so forth, so on and so forth, this is what you'll get. Um, again, they have a couple different ones that are um, like three months, six months, a year. Um, they have one that is like $10,000 um, that you can save, I think, over a year's time. They have some that are bi-weekly challenges. So it just depends, you know, but I would just definitely recommend that you do something just for a rainy day because you just never know. Even if it's just setting aside an extra $20 or $25 a check, you know, that was still um add up you know what i'm saying and i learned in an earlier age when i think i was in high school let's say pay yourself first p-y-l pay yourself first whether it's twenty dollars you put aside thirty dollars you know even if it's not an, an even amount you know at least it's something that you're putting aside on a monthly basis okay um, I do know for some, while I'm on that, some actually do get paid on a monthly basis, such as uh, teachers, you know. Um, so I, I understand that as well. So you have to do what works best for you, your budget, and your family. Um, so again, these are broken down into 12 months. I should have listed them, but I did not. <laughs> so I think this is around June when I did this. So around June or July, I'm supposed to be at about 27.90. And just a tidbit, I think I got this idea from a good friend of mine. When she was doing this, she told me that she does it backwards. Because for whatever reason, <laughs> they tend to give you the larger number. This particular one doesn't, I see. Because by December, you're supposed to have like um, 
$130 in there to add up to the $5,000. But she recommended to work backwards. I'm even thinking that as well and taking it a step further because this particular one has the higher amounts to get in the summer. So for instance, around June or July, $700. You're supposed to put $700 in a month's time um, to continue on and to get to the $34.90. So there are big amounts in here that start again from, I would even say $450. So since I get paid twice, I will put $225 in there one week, one paycheck, and $225 in there another paycheck. So I think this is around May. Then you have 530 you're supposed to put in there. Then up here is when it gets crazy. Y'all see that? That's $730. $730 in a month's time. Then it goes the next month is supposed to be $700. $700 in a month's time. Then it goes back down to 510, 360, 290, and so on and so forth. So the bigger amounts here happen to be around the summertime. So what I wanna do is get ahead of that and say maybe I can work on those larger amounts when I get my taxes, okay? So see how you have to kind of plan ahead on what works best for you because whoever created this, you know, I don't know about y'all, but in the summertime, we're trying to go out of town. You know, the kids are out of school. Thankfully, mine is still not in school at the moment. But for someone else that may have, you know, children in school, you need that money because you have to do summer camps. Again, you're trying to go out of town with your children, you know, your kids. So you have to do what works best for you. But what I went on to say as well is that towards the end of the year, there are other challenges out there that normally has the larger amounts on the end. And I can't understand that because it's like around the end of the year, you're trying to plan for Christmas. You're trying to get all the sales that are out there, Black Friday, even if you don't buy gifts and things of that nature. It's just a lot that's going on at the end of the year. And you just never know, you know, uh, um, I just... Uh, got my land tax form and all that stuff, you know, for having a house. Thank God I have escrow and all that stuff. But, you know, for one, they may have to come out of X amount of dollars at the beginning of the year. So you can't be saving no $700 at the end of the year and then come the beginning of the year, you know, you have to dish it out, right? So ideally, this is meant for you to have and keep and not tamper with it. That's the, that's the idea of it, okay? And so um, this particular one, I don't necessarily have anything in mind. I just want to challenge myself to see if I could do it. Um, and I feel like I can. I feel like this one is a little bit feasible, but they even have like a 3,000 one that you can save for 52 weeks or even um, for 20, 26 weeks. So there are different ones out there. And I just thought that this is pretty neat and cool. And that sounds so old, neat and cool. <laughs> But you get my gist, you get my gist. But I hope that this made sense. Like I said, I have a better format and y'all can see my face and everything because this is really homemade. Um, but I just at least want to go ahead and share this before the, the, the beginning of the year and go ahead and put this out because I really want to start. Um, so y'all will probably see me do this on a monthly basis and I'll come in and we can, I'm not going to do it. I don't know. I might do an envelope stuff and I don't know, but I have a safe <laughs> that I normally keep all of my stuff in. And so I'll just see what I can come up with. Um, you know, I might do the envelope thing or Y'all let me know if y'all have any ideas on like how I can present it because I'll definitely be open to some. I'll probably even watch a couple videos out there to see how people do their um, savings challenge and kind of go from there. But I'm excited about 2022. I hope that you guys uh, found this hope uh, useful and hopefully it's will kind of spark a couple ideas of your own that you'll be able to incorporate. Again, even if it's not $5,000, y'all, you know, save something. It's just so important to save because you just never know. And in that way, you can use the credit cards if need be, you know, for your last resort. But um, but yeah, so I just wanted to present this. I hope that it made sense. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. And if you have any challenges that you've done before in the past, you know, definitely let me know. Or if you're thinking about doing something like this or the like or something that is a little bit more feasible for you, definitely let me know as well. And we can, you know, save together. So let me know. And uh, I'll holler at you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my video. I pray everything is well in your new year. Um, I hope that you will be able to reach all of your, your goals and your dreams in the new year. And let's end this year right. Holla. Bye, y'all. <laughs>